could they sue if like you're using AI to get my information now in this, those, if there are any laws against, I'm assuming there aren't, but the laws that already exist, right? If someone, someone can't sue you or at least they can try to sue you for bad information, but that information came from AI Are the current laws on the books going to protect you from that because it's like invest at your own risk. So please, Tim, go ahead. In our AI powered chat service where you can get information about the news and about financial markets, um, we've taken a lot of care to make sure that every piece of information there is tagged to the primary source that it came from. And that's actually to avoid some of these very problems where when you have a piece of data as a fiduciary, you want to know where did that data come from? And it could be a problem if that data was not honest, if it was generated by the model and not coming from a reputable financial news source. So that's part of the reason why you can choose what sources you're drawing your data from, because if you're making a report that you might want to distribute to your clients, maybe it's for like an email or a newsletter or something like that, then maybe you want to curate those sources to sources that are going to have the right tone for your clients and also that are going to have reliable information. But ultimately, those are decisions that you as the RA are going to make. From our perspective at QDEC, it's just about having and preserving that connection between whatever information we're going to distribute to our clients and the source that information came from. And we saw um, there's a pretty high profile case in New York of a lawyer who was using ChatGPT to do case research. And uh, without the kind of connection that we make in our tools between the primary sources and the output of the model, it's very easy for the system to hallucinate and generate brand new things. And so this lawyer was asking it about these cases that were totally fabulated, entirely, you know, not real cases at all. And it was confidently telling him about all of these things that happened in these totally made up cases. Um, you know, I do think that you have to be careful. And in that case, it was extremely embarrassing. I don't know if, um, other than, being embarrassed in the trial. I don't know if there were any other legal consequences, but I do imagine that eventually there will be. And that's part of what, you know, we decided when designing our product that we wanted to be ahead of that and make sure that there was always going to be a reliable connection between whatever you get and your, uh, you know, the, the primary sources that led to it.